You want to help me introduce the video? You want to say hi? Hi. Danica says hi. It's Beatles time. Hi, guys. Welcome to Jack. Link Reacts. Hope everyone's having a good day. I know I am. All right, your part's over. No. <laughs> oh, and we are back with the pick from our patron, Laura A. Uh, we're going to be listening to Ticket to Ride off of Help right there. It's actually a record that I got. I haven't listened to it yet, though, obviously. Um, I took care of her. Sorry. I locked her back in her cell. <laughs> like I said, we're going to be listening to a song from Help for the first time. Ticket to Rhyme, Laura A. Thank you very much for your support. I appreciate it so much. Um, I'm excited because we've been, um, I've heard a lot about Ticket to Ride. It's been mentioned a lot. I know it's a very um, covered song, but apparently yesterday is like the most covered song ever. Um, where'd it go? Yeah, it says the second side includes yesterday, the most covered song song ever written that's crazy like these guys just have so many different records it's insane um this was released in the february february 15th 1965 and june 17th 1960 oh you know that's the when it was recorded it was february 15th through june 17th and then it was released august 1965 um and of course george martin uh the two singles were ticket to ride and help uh of course i think it was a movie as well uh, and it, of course, <laughs> like probably all of their albums, is listed in the 500 greatest albums of all time. So let's do it. I'm very excited. Mental patience put away. So help a brother out. Click that subscribe icon down there. And there's also a bunch of Beatles stuff up there. I've done a lot of solo stuff, done a lot of Lennon, McCartney, done a couple George tracks, lots of Beatles stuff, but most of the full albums are on Patreon. But. This is how it works on here, unfortunately. All right, the Beatles, take it to ride in three, two, one, go. So young looking. That harmony, oh my god. She would never be free when I was around. She's got a ticket to ride. She's got a ticket to ride. She's got a ticket to ride. But she don't. So good. <laughs> My baby don't care. 
Okay. Got a blues outro? Oh no. Makes me so mad when it's over so quick. <laughs> I've heard that before. Uh, but that's for another time. Um, wow, that was honestly really, really good. I mean, I don't know why I expected anything different, but um, I love seeing them just chilling there. I love videos like that where the band is just sitting there playing, you know, kind of just lip syncing and strumming along. Uh, that was really cool. <laughs> George had that one really weird stare there kind of towards the end. He's just looking at you. He's like, he looks straight into my soul, it felt like. Um, Ringo's always got... I've noticed he's kind of like Paul. He's very smiley, you know. <laughs> he's very, they're just exuberant people. Like, uh, John and George are quite similar, and they're kind of like, um, no, it's not self-conscious. What's the word? A little more like uh, guarded, I guess you could say. And then Ringo and Paul seem so approachable and just, uh, I don't know, very smiley. I like it. It's a very good balance of uh stone face and smiling even though early lennon got some smiles he, he once he started i guess getting older he um i don't know it's not that he started smiling less i think he just i don't i, I don't know i don't really don't have words for it yet um all right so for help like i said it was released in august of 65 um track listing that was so. This is the last track on side one, um, dude. I really want to hear that yesterday song. Maybe I've heard it before. If it's the most covered song ever, I've probably heard it. <laughs> um, all right, so there's nothing special, right? Because sometimes there's different instruments and stuff they use, but no, that that was just them on their usual stuff. Um, yeah, that was really good. I their harmony in this seemed so. I don't know, it kind of like pierced through the sound there at the end, especially, you know, when um, Paul and John already have a great harmony, and especially all, when, like, when George joins into it, it's even better, but they really just know how to play off each other so well. And I know they, they're the main songwriters of all this stuff anyway, you know, but I don't know, they really have, they both have their own unique voice in the writing department and, you know, vocally, but combined, man, they're just genius. It's pure genius. And I know that sometimes, I know they fell out. And then I think they patched it up before the end, if I'm not mistaken. But if I'm wrong on that, then I, I you guys have a reason to comment then at that point. My apologies. Um, <laughs> I, uh, it, it, it's just, I just listened to John's last song, or his last single that was released yesterday. And um, it kind of hit me hard, man. And then to see him here with the lads just having a good time relaxing and playing great music it um it makes it a little better you know because he did so much while i was here all four of them did like they literally conquered the world together they were the number one thing in history just the most popular thing ever you know and just four guys um from this i guess i don't know what cities they're all from over there in england but i know they're all british you know what i'm saying like it, it's just Four guys, and they most of them were down to earth. Paul was down to earth. I heard George is really nice and down to earth. So is Ringo. I mean, John was John. You know, <laughs> he was a little ornery, but at the same time, he seemed like a really happy guy. In the video we did for um, Mind Games, he was in, when he was in New York City. He seemed so happy. Uh, so like this song is just like a happy, um, just really good feeling song. It feels like a, almost a mix of the old stuff, you know, like the please, please me era. And then you can hear the evolution in the songwriting with the transitions, the different sections and stuff like that. And they really took the electric guitar a little more seriously. I feels like, even though they already, they always did, but they really kind of relied on it more than, um, than they did before. It feels like, I feel like they were more of a vocal driven band at first. It feels like, um, but then now they then they developed into just like this band that can do anything, you know. <laughs> Literally, they could write a song about anything and it'd be gold. And uh, this was a very simple lyrical song. That girl's got a ticket to ride, you know what I'm saying? That's it. And uh, it's one of the just catchiest songs I've heard from them. And they have a lot of catchy earworm songs. I have a feeling I'm gonna be singing this one for a while. So thank you, Laura. I appreciate that. If I had to say my favorite thing from this would be, um, I don't know. 
I don't know if it just if it's Ringo's rhythm, just that just that same kind of fill he was doing the whole song. It was a very good rhythm to center the song around. Um, but I'd say that harmony between John and Paul was probably my favorite part. Uh, but it was a very great video too. Just I know most bands in their videos they detract from the song, but the Beatles for some reason, other than maybe Strawberry Fields Forever, because that video is so intense and so um, artistically driven that you have to watch it. You don't really listen to the music. It's kind of hard to do both. So that's why I listened to the track, you know, after y'all told me to do that. And uh, this one, you could easily follow the music because it's not, you know, Strawberry Fields Forever. (laughs) And the video is pretty simple. You know, it's just them chilling, relaxing and playing and having a good time. And uh, it always makes my soul very, very squiggly when I see them happy and just chilling like that. And I'm a new fan, dude. Like, I just discovered them this year for the most part. And I've already got full on like books and novels about them that I'm reading and it's it's fascinating stuff man um and thank you to all you wonderful Beatles fans who have helped me like discover them and get through their stuff and explain it to me because there's a lot of lore to this band and I know I've made some mistakes over the videos you know and I mean I'm only human and I'm learning you know I, I and I'm also like learning about 50 other bands at the same time but it's also the Beatles though you know so I understand. Uh, I'm trying my best, though, and um, I really enjoy them. I really, really do. And it's so crazy because I thought that I wouldn't when I first started them. Like, I thought a day in the life would be a flash in the pan, but then I've gone on to basically like 99% of the songs that we've listened to by them. And we've done basically four, five, four, five albums, basically, in full. We just have a couple songs missing from each, you know, from Please Please Me and the White Album, but we did Abbey Road, Sgt. Pepper, um revolver that's all on my patreon you know in full but i don't know man that was really really good i I can't wait to listen to help now but i think laura sent in another request for some other i think it's their first song ever i think Uh, i can't remember exactly what it's called off the top of my head but that is what we will be doing for our next Beatles sunday tuesday whenever day you watch this is um i hope you enjoy it thanks for watching guys and uh Thank you again, Laura. If you all know, Patreon right here. That's a picture of it. There's a link in the description. Hide. Sorry, AI camera. Uh, <laughs> if you join any of the tiers, you get access to all of our block videos, full album reactions, and uh, our patrons only Discord. You get to vote on Spotlight Artist of the Month and all kinds of stuff. It's fun, man. You get to chat with us whenever you want. Um, there's also a PayPal link and Cash App as well in the description uh, if you want to send a tip or request in that way for another Beatles Sunday, or I'll just do it any day. I've done Beatles videos on Tuesdays and Wednesdays and stuff too, just to randomly put them in there. Um, I really do enjoy this band, and I love, you know, I, I started at the end basically, and then I started, and then after I finished all the end stuff, I'm going through the beginning and middle stuff right now, and we're going to get to Rubber Soul very, very soon as well too. So I might try and tackle that album in full, you know. I don't know what I'm going to do yet. But I want to do something special for it because uh, I've heard so much about it and I can't wait to hear it. (laughs) So thanks for watching, guys. I will see you all later. Have a good day.